he who is he without, without sin, sin cast the first stone. And some of them pull up and sin and still a throw the big stone by the people. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> still a fling them. Yeah. See a left toe. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to Feel Few Sense, the show where we look at church girl or church people problems and then look at plus sized prejudice, right? Mm -hmm. I'm your host, Kemani, and here with me to talk about all of this is Samantha, aka Precious. <laughs> Welcome to Fifty Cent Samantha. Oh God. Thank you for having me. Yeah. I'm all right. Yeah, good, 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 good. So, as per tradition, we have a very well. What would have been brief on a normal day? Introduction, right? Mm. So we're gonna go through that so the audience know just a little <laughs> bit, just the base information about who is Samantha, aka Precious, right? So here we go. <clears throat> Mm -mm. So, Samantha is a graduate of the Endemani School of Performing Arts. Yes. The Endemani College of the Visual and Performing Arts, the only one of its kind in the English speaking Caribbean. Uh, my apologies. Thank you. All right. Uh, she is a bona fide Christian and newly ordained pastor. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Yes. And she's a musician, singer, arranger, composer, poet, songwriter, artist, designer, dramatist, dancer. And more. And she makes hats. Do you still make hats? I do. She still makes hats. And that's Samantha, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> All right. So welcome again to Fifi Zen. Thank welcome, you. welcome, 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 welcome. All right. So I'm going to list some things, right? Mm -hmm. And you're going to pick one. All right. Only one. Only one. Okay. So would you rather live by the sea or live in the mountains? By the sea. Mm. Quick way. Because I like the water. And the mountain of water. A mountain no, of view. there's something about the sea that is just so mystical and majestic. Mm, I've, I've actually heard that one before. Yeah. All right, it's very fear. calming. Fear. I like that water. <laughs> Drama or music? <laughs> yes, pick one. Pick I yes, can't pick one. Pick one. They're equally balanced. Pick one. Drama or music? Head. Pick one. I can't pick Dram one. Drama or music? Pick one. Drama because there we drama, go. drama entails music as well. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. or reggae. The music part of the drama would have gone too, but whatever. R and B or reggae. Now, can I admit something real quick? What? When I was writing these, mm -hmm. I was told rhythm and blues or reggae. And I'm like, rhythm and blues. Ooh, rhythm and blues. What is that? That's why. And then she goes, R and B, and I'm like, That's why. So I didn't That's know. why. Yeah, I didn't Because it would know. appeal to me more. I, I don't know. Rhythm and blues. The rhythm and blues. Okay. Oh, for drama and music, drama for me. Um, hmm. Reggae, reggae for me. Pursuit for me. <laughs> reggae for me. All right. Good looks or personality? Uh huh. Your personality can make you good looking. Personality. Personality. Good looks. Need, need balance. I need balance. I need somebody to elevate me, you know what I'm saying? It's all we can. Personality alone mm, can't carry. Mm -mm, mm -mm, I have good mm -mm. genes, you know, so it will help to filter out that. Mm. Yes. Maybe. Not maybe. Some My guarantee. genes are very dominant. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, I see. I, no, 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 no. That means my cheeks, my eyes. Oh, my you were pointing at. Face. Oh, I see. Uh -huh. I see. Are you blind? No, but look, you see, my memory of this means you now look like what you No, no, no. It's when me and me get in trouble, and my mother talk to me, and she goes, she says something, and she goes, <laughs> What? I'm no. like, Wait, what? What, what go on? You, you still mm -hmm. don't understand what that means? Not a clue. Oh, wow. Last and final praise and worship or prayer meeting. Praise and worship. Mental. music. <laughs> The prayer is too good. It's just. <laughs> but unless you're praying. Yeah, unless you're praying. Yeah, but the sick, unless you you wanted people to pray long. No, I'm a long prayer. Sometimes. Yeah, prayer. short bad prayer, short bad. No, I for detail. So I don't. I for detail. I don't. I'm just gonna sit down and watch everybody else. I'm, I, no, every no, now and then, I for just. Pray. Yeah, my always. I always remember you know, something you like, from oh, this. It's like, like if you know they might go pray long inside for me to go, oh Lord, my toe, 
no, no, my toenail, and my the dirt on the mic. No, Remember that's, the a, that's a strategy. Yeah, and say, it's the Lord, I give those to you. I just started the room. God, remember that one, I need God. this and I need that. Ear follicle remember, number and, two, And then you God. realize there's a lot. Ear follicle number three, God. And then by the time you start this, so you realize that you have only parties to actually pray about. Oh, it's a strategy. Yeah. List. You make a list. You start list out. Nobody yeah. ever tell me that with me like that. Really. See that? But yeah, so that's that's it for the this or that. That's yeah, we're going through the list. Yeah, we're, we're done. So, what I want to start with is so I gave off you know your short but not so short intro. Mm -hmm. So just introduce my audience now to Samantha to Precious. Like who is Samantha? Who is Precious? Hi everyone, I am Samantha K Thompson. Hyphen open bracket to be announced close bracket. I am a Got lover. Mm. I love the Lord. I love people. I like seeing people whole. I like seeing people well. I am a people person. I'm mm. very easy to get along with. I'm in a love foolishness, but no level. Um, I enjoy teaching children because I like the innocence of them and I don't have to deal with adult issues that teenagers might be transitioning or going into. I don't like teaching adults because adults their mind sometimes though. Know. Like some thoughts of them think you wonder, gee, your problems are your serious problems. Um I am fun loving. Um I'm serious when I need to be. I am very expressive. My face, you can't read my face because my face might be saying something else. But in truth, that's not what I really mean in my heart. <laughs> I think, I yes. feel like that's a couple. Really? Like, like somebody who says something and you give a reaction like, and that's your genuine reaction. But because you say that now, people are going to be like, oh no, may I just her face to the certain... And no, no, that's not what she means inside. No, because there are times when my face will do something and in my head, my head is blank because I don't know how to truly feel about it. So that's why I tell you. Oh. Yeah, the actually so your a face process. No, go on. Yeah, but, but is that brain... my brain a process? Mm. Okay. And that's the story. Right. Yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. Okay, so how are you combining in precious? Well, um, Sasha Bell Davis and Aki Mignat, they watch the show, um, Precious, and they say, I look like the no girl, and way. no matter what I said or did, they were determined in their heart that they were going to call me up. Okay. Asha say, well, I'm Precious, we are call you, whether you sense. like it or not, I will not stop call you, Precious. It makes Something sense. Something about that fight, them. It makes sense. Because I, I was like go, I was going to ask, one of the things we had written down is if it have anything to do with the movie. It really And apparently does. does. Like, it's a direct But they, but, but they say I'm the prettier version of her, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <So> like, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, because... Hmm. So if, if it wasn't the movie, I was going to ask if... Because I not, not that I know anybody else named Precious, but I feel like over the years, one, knowing the movie, and two, knowing you... Um, I've always put I when I hear the, the name Precious, I always think it's a plump person. Ah, I'm, I don't think you. I don't. I personally don't. I've never heard of a slim true. Precious. Yeah, straight up. There you go. So that's what I wonder. It's true. Yeah. So I just think it that most persons don't know. That's why. So when they hear, they're like, no. No, we have to call this Samantha. I'm like, no, Precious is fine. That's where I can associate where I know you from. Because I don't remember something oh, yeah. sometimes. So you have, so people who call you Samantha, you know, say, all right. Good. You're from before you Edna. Mm -hmm. You then had that group, yeah. Right. But some, so. people, but some people women know from before call me Precious and I think it cute. I'm like, it don't sound right coming out of your mouth. Please revert to the name that you know me as. Mm -hmm. But they, they think it's cute. I'm just... <laughs> All right, so that's the name Mystery Solved, ladies and gentlemen. So that's two episodes back to back where we've solved the mystery of how they came by the name. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. Right. All right, so in the intro, I mentioned newly ordained mm -hmm. pastor. And I said, Congratulations. You never, you never yeah. said thank you. I did it. say thank you, actually. Of the watch by the footage. Yes, definitely. Okay. I've received. So. <laughs> so the Christian journey. Yes. I personally 
how do I how do I say this now? I find mm-hmm. my Christian journey interesting, and I like to hear other people's story. So we were interesting. How, how interesting your, because interested? from so there's there are certain experiences that I've had within the church mm-hmm. that I find either ironic or nonsensical because it's it's the church, right? right? So this is this is pretty much your show, um, church, church but, girls but this and isn't church, church boy church problems. Boy. Church, church boy, perhaps. So I'll let's give it solutions. <laughs> talk, talk to Sam. Talk, talk to Pastor Sam. <laughs> Sam, show now. All right. So, um, th- there are certain traits that is associated with the ch- church people. Oh Lord. That I did not believe until I had personally experienced it. Um, that is it good or bad? It's bad. Mm. It's bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're, they're, Monago, Monago say it's entirely bad. They, they are and were very good, very good times. But then it's like they, they, they get to a level where, and then as a teen in the church as yeah. well. Oh, I know what you mean. What I call it, the church, the, the churchocracy of it all. Mm. So when you're younger, you really enjoy it. But then you start to get a little bit older. Your eyes start to become more aware of different things. Mm. Then you really actually start seeing the people for who they quote unquote are, are yeah. which is still human. Yeah, which is why I'm not about nobody because same my, way my, my, my understand we perceive same things way. incorrectly and assume things and make mistakes based on how they were cultured in church. Mm-hmm. So that is going to inform how they might treat or deal with certain situations. So that's mm-hmm. why I call it the churchocracy of it all. Okay. So you've been a you've been a Christian all your life, yes? From I was in grade six. That's when I was eleven years old. Now what time I know age? No, no, go to that. <laughs> we think it that gonna sneak out. I was I'm always conscious. <laughs> I was for it. A, a, a young lady never discloses her full age. Right. Thank you. Okay, right. Guess. So yeah. So at eleven. Six. Plenty years. 19, uh, 2005. I don't remember. Oh. Right. So, <laughs> <laughs> plenty years. But I so, would say I really started to take my walk seriously about um, five, seven years ago, if not. Because I... When I say take it seriously, what do you mean? Meaning, we didn't always serious, you know, but there was a but there was a level of seriousness that I didn't have. Mm-hmm. Meaning, it's like I wasn't aware of who I was and what I was called onto, and the things that I should truly be representing. And the fact that you mustn't have sex, you mustn't have lie, you mustn't gossip. But there were other levels of it that I did not really, really, I wasn't that privy to. Mm-hmm. Meaning, I remember one day sitting in a car with one of my friends, and the thought just came to me. I was just thinking about everything, and I said, You know, I don't think I'm representing Christ well. And then I said, We well, are come with because I know that there's a lot of things that I don't really do. But then, if I'm truthful with myself, because who know you more than you? Mm-hmm. I say, I don't think I'm really representing Jesus or Christ or whatever you call him or Yahweh. Um, as how I ought to because I know the thoughts that I have Mm -hmm. I know the things that I have done I know the things that I have conspired to do and I said I am going to change that and I said that I must make him proud of me Mm -hmm. Um, how I think how I process the things that I do the things that I condone and how I treat people. The main thing was people. people. Mind you, I was normally very loving, but I was very judgmental. Very judgmental. And in comparison to some of them, I was not that judgmental. But being truthful, I was very judgmental. And I just could not help myself because that was how I was cultured. Mm-hmm. That is how I was raised. I was raised in the apostolic church. So... I saw some things that they did, and you know, I'm like, I'm not gonna be like that. I'm gonna cause myself dirty church people. And the Holy Spirit say, Yeah, but you're dirty church people, do too. Because you do things too. You say mm-hmm. things too. Yeah. You misrepresent me too. 
And I'm like, yeah. <sighs> so it's a it's a case where they say they say every sin is sin, yes, right. but you have big sin and little sin. No, no, in terms of no, not not like not like the value. Oh, right, you the mean the weight, the, sin, of it, the, yeah. the weight of it on the soul is different according mm. to the measure so, of the so sin. So you have you have direct you have like stealing, right? That's yeah. that's that's a sin, and then you have the thought of stealing type of thing. That's that's what I mean when I right. say the it's not it's not really I didn't that's why I didn't that's why I said every sin is still sinning. That's right. why I said that before I yeah, said I think, I think you that have one the direct is ones and you have the something to mischief. No thinking idea. mischief in your heart or something like that is still mischief because you're oh. bad for things. You, yeah, because you think about it. <laughs> right. <laughs> Even if you didn't do it, yeah, yeah, you're, you're thinking about that, it. That's what comes to making sin because yeah. you're actually you're, you're, you're thinking of doing it. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So, so when you said you weren't, you know, you know the major things like the, yeah, yeah and then, so the, the things that you were, you said the whole judgmental thing, mm -hmm. that's one that a lot of people don't really pay much attention to or don't really realize that they're doing. Yeah. Because they think it's okay. Because they are not doing it or they are not struggling with that sin. They feel like they are better than you are. Mm. Because I remember there was a point where, you know, probably you're not have sex or probably you're not thief or probably you're not really lost. But you know, some you know somebody else who is just displaying those things and they're like I don't understand why they would do that but then when you when they reach home you gossip mm -hmm. yeah. when they take a stock your teeth you understand you still a backbite you hear people you have malice so it's like they think that it's different because they don't struggle with that thing and then I had to really take stock and say no no ma'am all I'm seeing and falling short Yes. He who is, he who is without sin, sin cast a first stone. And some of them pull up a sin and still a throw the big stone by the people. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> still a fling them, yeah. seal them too. Yeah, I, think, I, I, think, I think about uh, every time I uh, get to a point where, because I don't, I don't really go to church anymore, mm -hmm. but I still, I still believe in God, I still pray, I still read my Bible, right. I still do all the things. I don't physically, I haven't found a new church as yet since okay. I stopped going to my old one. So I still think about certain things every now and then. So that's why, um, that's why I can say these things and right. I ask and remember, because you know, if some people just stop completely and then they don't remember, all, all they remember is what happened way back when. bad things, Versus, right. yeah. So that's why earlier in the conversation I had said there are there are tons of right. good memories and good experiences yeah. that I got from the church, but near the nearer to the end when all was revealed, oh my, and I was like, all okay. was revealed. What does that? Well, all not was all. Let's let's say not all. I say my giant. I can't can really tell it. Okay. Yeah. We'll talk off the air. Maybe. <laughs> but yeah. So this that was my. This is like this is like in high school, like right right, right near the end part of high school. We're eleven, grade twelve, grade thirteen. So we went to six rounds, blah blah blah. So you went to Saint Jago, yes, yes, Saint Jago across Jago the pond high from school. my school, Saint Catherine High. Okay, you don't so, recognize that one, but it's fine. Let's let's not let's not cause any problems. There is no problem because there's only one true. Saint Jago, number one. Where on the Saint Jago premises? No, in the whole entire world. <laughs> whole entire world. You're a funny lady. All right, so that I, I that was my alma mater. Teens, yeah, yeah, but yeah, we're, put, we're putting the alma mater conversation for off the air. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> that's my teen Christian experience. Yeah. So I want to go back to the very beginning of the conversation where we started talking about this and find out what was your teen Christian experience. What was my what was that like? Christian experience was very interesting. I I can't say that it was bad. Mm is when I begin to grow up a little bit more and start to have a little more sense. Mm -hmm. That is when everything started to jump out at me. Yeah. Like I said, you know, you always saw it, you're like, weird. And you say, yes, sir. Yeah, you know, and you really say, but why them? 
don't oh, oh, deserve a family. They're loving people of God. Yeah. Yes. Fellowship of God very, and everybody dance with It was oh, very fun. Um, it was full of a lot of events. We had Sunday school. We had convocation. We have youth convention. We had um, summer camp. We will go river. Um, Sunday school sword in hand. Um, beach trip. So the school tree, it was very full of lots of activities and I really enjoyed Sunday school. Mm -hmm. And then I started to transition out of one of my favorite classes into the adult class and that was it for me. Yeah. <laughs> so that was Sunday school. <laughs> like, like the, the innocence gone and... Not innocence gone. It's just boring. Adult class, that's not the school boring. Yeah. Them stop doing the local puzzle. Be a read, 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 read scripture. I mean, like, I learned the least about, about the Bible during adult Sunday school. The coloring, even though the coloring and the puzzles, they still appeal to me. Mm -hmm. They do. My mother mm -hmm. read, 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 read. Spice it up. Okay. All right. So, mm. Must be nice. Like <laughs> most people can't relate. Myself being the prime example. Well, you know. You never used to the Sunday school. No, 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 no. It's not really the Sunday school part of it. It's not really the whole, the, the full like church, church experience. Just overall being a teenager and a Christian, I I felt like it was somewhat tricky to navigate. Tricky to navigate. Probably because I really loved going to church. I really mm. did. So it's so. Club never appealed to me. Dance me never appealed to me. me Dress up never appealed to me. Because, one, I live at Maxfield Avenue. Mm -hmm. So, dance keep on my yard gate compulsory. <laughs> and maybe video light, then project the thing upon the screen, and you see everything. Mm -hmm. So, w when I was younger, we used to start dance. Because I, I live right next door to a bar. So, we start the dance when they say what hey, hey. that come on we go out there oh, and yeah. we we start hey, rocking we still still go church <laughs> no, primary school and we go there yeah, we start to buy when we come from school we take off we take off our clothes you know with tights our marina and we out there and we sit down and watch them shake up the box and we go buy bag juice and we sit down out there and cheese chicks and we play a ramp and we go over the next door yard go ramp and play Five o'clock inside bed. Early in the morning, we teeth out and go look out a gate. What do what and what a this and come right back in, come lay down. Nobody don't know nothing. So I guess it never really appealed to me. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know why. When we used to primary school, we used to go fit. We never want nobody dance up behind me. No, it just never appealed to me at all. And nobody said, oh, no, don't. No, no, I said that. Come in, I go do whatever I want anyways. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Damn. They beat me, Mr. Man. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> just, just like a quick comparison, because I feel like, you say, you say they love church, and when you say you love church, it immediately reminded me of how often I personally was in church. So every Sunday is, you know, Sunday service, for mm -hmm. those who worship on Sunday. You have Sunday service, Monday is prayer meeting, Tuesday is fasting, Wednesday is Bible study, Thursday is, Thursday, most of, Thursdays, I think, is like either women's rehearsal or something. Oh. Friday is when everybody gather. You? Um, yeah. Saturday is clean, clean up, and then it's Sunday again. Yeah. So if 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 I wasn't like at school for most of those, I would have because I'm there. If I come home early on a Monday, my auntie's carrying me to to church. To church. Mm. Have to go every Wednesday. You uh, <laughs> there every Friday because that's when the you youths would, gather. Yeah. And then Sunday compost, so you don't have a choice. So pretty much at church, like for just so that's that's well, they have something for every day. But other than like maybe Thursday, Tuesday morning, because I'm at school. And sadly, because I'm, you know, I'm giving up my salary. The worst part for me was the early morning prior meetings them on a Sunday, like six o'clock. Me no love wake up early them time. Then get yeah, like, I heard stories of me and my sister dropping off on the bench. I just hear boop in the middle of prior meeting, and them turn around and look at Sam the on the ground, still sleeping. 
Drop off at the bench. <laughs> That's how much you got to When them ear book them, they'll say, Sam, drop. Yeah. So the lips are turn on the bench, I push it up, something to drop, because we are going to sleep. We sleep. As a matter of fact, I've had some of the best naps and rest in church, sleeping out the services. Not you hear me some of the <laughs> church, I'm going to go. Oh, me too. But sleep, man. We ain't talk about. Me too. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah. we, we can't sleep at church. Yeah, man. Best yeah. place to sleep. And it's very comfortable too. Yes. Peace of mind. You're very yes, relaxed. You don't have nightmares. Yeah. I've, Sound sleep. But I used to go to, so young people meeting was on Monday. Mind you, church and two service on a Sunday. You, uh, yeah, Sunday yeah. school Let's from see. 10 to 11.30. Divine service start from 12 and it might end at 4. Yeah. Depending on what the Holy Ghost is doing Mine or depending on how much they chat out the service. Yeah. Mine was 9 to 2 for the first two. service. If 2 is where two is where it's supposed to end. Right. But they know them but continue. You know, yeah. Then sometime after church, you would have fellowship dinner. And we would sit down I together. Everybody cook food and fifth, carry. Fifth Sunday for my church. For my old church. When, when they have while. five Sundays in a month, that we... Fellowship dinner. Go, yeah. Yeah. And, and I would normally cook. So it was a joy to come and cook and whatever it is. Um, Monday, young people meeting. Tuesday, some choir practice or rehearsal and mind you before I was on the choir I knew every single song we used to go rehearsal I'm never on the choir my big choir Wednesday they had fasting Thursday it was Bible study Friday and Saturday was cleaning or rehearsal mm -hmm. and I was back at church but in between they would have other churches other branch churches would have different services and we would go so for me I like the traveling mm -hmm. so anytime that I keep now we used to love go and even if church boring, we just want to come out of the house. That's just me. Yeah, I want to know about And I used to go to Sabbath church too. <laughs> Why? Why? Well, we used to visit my cousin's church, <laughs> just, church just because. Like if I'm if there too far away from my church, mm -hmm. and like if I'm alone, like if I'm there with my grandmother or something, and I'm alone, and like she yeah. like, can't go that day, day, she's like, yeah, man, Saturday I go to church with your cousin. Yeah. I end up at Sabbath church. One time, I tell you a story. Yes. I did not know, I st well, I still don't know much about Sabbath churches, wow. but I went there one time, right? And I was, the service was going on, the, the, the choir sang, and when the choir finished... <laughs> you didn't know that was a no, no. I had no idea. You gave away your Sunday worship. Just, <laughs> you gave it away. Just imagine a whole church just a rotate their head. Hello. I just just sit down. Yeah. And that was it for the rest of the service. But let me give you an encounter. So I, I've always been singing. I was in a part of a choir. Mm -hmm. I went to a Sabbath church because one of my aunts, she's not really my aunt, but me and I have the same last name, so she took me as our niece. Mm -hmm. Fair so I went to her church and she said, Yeah, man, my niece, I come sing. And, you know, at first, me and make up the man. She said, Sam, come lead. I'm going to say, You're sure? No matter where I go, I always have my hat by my head, you know. One, I love hats. Yeah. And two, my grandmother tell when when we just started to go on the Sunday school choir, you have to wear hats. And for my grandmother saw us in the hat the one time. We could my great grandmother, we could not go to church without our hats. hats. Mm -hmm. We had to turn back and go home to put on our hats. Big old hats, yeah. Yes. And then um when I started to sing, it's like at the end of it, the people started to clap. And somebody said, you're not a part of us. <laughs> because the way you sing, you sing with something extra. Yeah. And we don't normally sing like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, and I'm there, like, there's that too, yeah. The, 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 the flare and the, the and energy. And my aunt was like, you know, yeah. she goes to the Sabbath church that Maxfield Avenue. And I'm like, oh, she's like, she's like yes, she okay. does. And okay. I'm like, okay. yeah, yeah, but visit Ken Cut, right? So right, yeah. let me go. I give away myself. Yeah, just yeah. like that. Just like that. Stay with you, sense. Hi, I'm Samantha, and I'm encouraging you to like, share, and subscribe. Kai, if you have not subscribed, oh hey, you're a suspect. <laughs> you're trying to silence the people. You're trying to block us, oh. From giving a few cents, please like, share, and subscribe. Stay with you, cents. All right. So, <clears throat> so you, 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 well, you sang 
briefly yes in church no. what else what else you you know for in a church I, well once they discovered that i could sing uh-huh. mind you my uncle was the choir director uh-huh. and he it was the choir director for the Sunday school and for the mass choir, which was everybody's dream to go to the mass the choir. Mass Convocation come, you know, you just open your but burgundy and, and yeah. cream brown and your fancy hat. And yeah, so I used to walk by his window and sing on top of my lungs, There is hope. So he know me, didn't know the lead. And he never called upon me. It's one convention, Sunday school, and a lady from Old Arbor Church come and she said, Come and sing, what can I give to you? And he's like, me say, I'm not sure. They, and that was my first song. They, put, they actually put me on a chair to sing. Mm-hmm. And I sang with all of my heart. And up to this day, people still remember that song that I sang when I was. Um, yay hi, I was always tall, but I never tall enough to look over the podium. Oh. But I did drama, I did sign language, and I did dance at church. Mm-hmm. Yes. So for many years at convention, they would say, oh, the little short fat girl will have walked up and down. She's the one that does her language <laughs> and sings. Yes. So like, how, mm, this, are, this is around what age? It's, it's throughout different periods. So, um, about so so yeah hi the little short fat girl that was what age love walk up and down uh, about seven eight seven eight yeah okay. seven eight and then i started to teach teach sign language when i started high school mm-hmm. and then branch off into dance because I, I i was always well cultured because i normally knew about bollywood and them things there and opera i i really enjoyed opera strangely and i knew a lot about jazz mm-hmm. strangely when i was very young and then my mother would take us to the theatre and to, to the pantomime and to watch um, theatre. So it was very cultured as a little girl. Okay. Yes. That's good. So many of the persons that I saw on stage, I actually got to work with them. And I remember watching Patrick Earl on stage, NDTC, and I pointed and I said, me must work with that man. And I remember saying that me must sing with NDTC one, one time when I was very young. And... <laughs> It happened though. So you it happened. And yes, and it, yes, it happened. So people, dream big here and don't take what you say out of your mouth lightly, because there are power in their life. Yeah, and there's also mm-hmm. there's there there is also debt. We attack. So careful. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. So <clears throat> let us go back to you know. The short, the short, the girl. short, fat little girl. Yeah. <laughs> walk up and down. <laughs> so I mean, it would be, it would be, would it? Hmm. It would be strange. No, I don't think it would be strange. But I'm just trying to figure out like the segue, mm-hmm. right? So you said that I was around seven, right? So I was always fat. Oh, yeah, that's that's what I was. That's what I was trying to find. Yeah, always round. The, the respect or the non non. No, it's fine. It doesn't bother me because I've always asking. been fat. Mm-hmm. I've always been fat. It, me being uncomfortable with being fat is because of people. It's not because of me, mm-hmm. because it was never a problem growing up. Well, when my aunt was in Jamaica, uh huh. But when she left me at age eight, my life came tumbling. But, um, yeah, because she really built me up. She said, it could be anything you want to be. Just like my one-woman show um, with Pumpkins and Aunt Cassandra. She said, you want to be a muggle? Come my knees. Show me how muggle walk. And my aunt <laughs> really, really encouraged me. Mm-hmm. Anything I want to be, I can do it. She helped my love with makeup and fashion. Even this morning, I spoke to her, telling her how to do her eyebrows. And we chose a dress. And I, I'm her stylist. Yeah, so she really helped to build that confidence in me mm-hmm. when I was younger. And it's important to build up children's confidence when they're young so that when they become older and the world comes with their different notions and ideology of body and size and how you should look, that they are fortified mentally. Yeah, that's, I was, that's, that's the follow-up I was going to ask, which is mm-hmm. knowing how 
the world is right well mm. right now right now it's yeah, a lot it's, more open it's, yeah it's a lot less yep um but troublesome to, i would up say to eight years or but, five yeah. years ago up to, yeah five i would say f five maybe even too much but not very long ago yeah um being plus size would 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 you would be subject to what Ridic ridicule? That's, I am that's, still that's subjected word. to ridicule in the church and in everywhere I go. Church. Oh, why am I saying yeah. church like I'm shocked? So, so, I'm <laughs> shocked. <laughs> so like hope before uh -huh. before five years ago, before no, when it's more more streamlined, more acceptable, more but the world is more body positive. Like how did you how did you I'm gonna say maneuver the space being the world? Like how did you I maneuver the space. After your aunt. Because you said your aunt was like a really, a, a good... Yeah, and she left. She left Jamaica to go to England. Mm -hmm. um, how I maneuvered, it was, it was not easy because my mother is very shapey and she does not like her bottom and she does not like her hips. Mm. So for her, she would describe my hips as humps. And it used to really annoy me. I said, what? She used to tell me, some of my face big like my auntie Audrey. I mean, like, ah, but I did not ask for this big face. So, yeah. the man's mother's face is big. Your face is big. So how must my so, face um, come yeah. out? Slim. <laughs> <laughs> like, That's crazy. <laughs> so for me, I'm like, it now nah, makes sense. You were there with the man with, with, with big wait, and wait, tall and in, fat. And, and you know, say so you're yeah. gingerish and fat. So we expect to come out liquor. It don't work so but I learned how to maneuver by what my aunt instilled in me when I was younger. Mm -hmm. Um I also with the help of God I, I learned how to maneuver but there were times when it was very challenging, especially space wise. And you know, we don't have our personal car right now. So you can imagine going on a bus and being a little bit broader than everybody else. Mm -hmm. So it was very hard. There were times when I really felt bad. But it never stopped me from doing what I wanted to do. But there were times when people willingly hurt my feelings. There were times when people willingly made me a laughing stock. Willingly embarrassed me. There's a story where I was going to high school. The boy called me Chichi bus every time I pass in class. And he go, pa 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 pa, chichi bus. Pa, 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 pa. Look, look, he's Godzilla. And the whole Peter will laugh off of me. And I said, Lord, how long must I endure this? And you know what I do? I cuss him off. So, hey, I cuss him off. And I say, you know what, this cussing thing that works. So, find another way. And we just ignore him. And I was very popular in high school. I was one of the most popular girls in high school. Even people that were, they and I weren't friends. They know me up to this day. People were graduate before I did. They still know me. Um, so I use my talent. So my talent spoke for me. Mm -hmm. So even if you wanted to judge me based on how I look, and it's not like me did ugly. I was never told that I was ugly. I was just fat and I was always fat. And then one next girl come and she uh, for ease the burden because she did fat too. So it was equally shared amongst the fat yeah, people. Yeah. Split in a half now. Yes. You get 50, she get 50. I, I hundred it was still get kind of double it. <laughs> Whenever I think about it, eh? yeah, them, them do, double it. When you say them do, now. split what? Yeah. Them say all the 200 fat and I get equal portion. Yeah. Equal. Yeah. Hey, them, hey, them tease me now. Them tease me. Yeah. But we never make it bad at me too much. Because who that tease me, they never far ago. That same boy we tease me every day. One day, it take him and think him a spider man. Climb up on the rail and go. <laughs> and jump off and him broke up. So me did all right. Vengeance is mine, says the Lord. Careful, careful who you say about people. Yeah? Sure. Right. But yeah, um, I was always pretty. Um, did always know. Sometimes I never care about the dressing part. I'm never business. It never make no sense to me. So there was a phase in my life where we just couldn't bother. Me just wear anything I want for wear press crush pleat. I did not care. Me just put on anything because it don't matter what I do. Mm -hmm. And there was a point where me just never care about life. Me just so well. The Lord coming back for the world. The Lord coming back for the world. So might as well. And me just never care. Me just never care. So it, it helped me to have a don't care. Which was not necessarily that good. But it yeah, helped I was, me. Yeah, because I was, I, was, I was going to say I, I'm... 
per, I don't I don't think that's like the, the healthiest way it's of doing really it. It's really not. But it was a way to help to ease the blow and the sting because yeah. people said some all right, picture this. You, the person see it every day. Oh we are big ago. Lord you biggie. Nasa Man, you're fat bruh. Every day somebody said that to you at the most inconvenience of times. Mm -hmm. After a while, I started to feel like an alien living amongst human beings. I, I started regretting being fat. Me like, Lord, you couldn't make me slim. Why, why, you, why you give me that cross you have to carry? Mm -hmm. And then I, I started to understand that even though I'm different, I am still fearfully and wonderfully made, that the world would not be an eclectic mix of people and cultures if everybody looked the same, the same way. way. So, really. so that made me appreciate other persons too. That's why I don't call people ugly. I might say them look a bit warmish, but them can look pan, and I always find something to love about someone. It is even their eyes, it is even one eyebrow that is very neat, or their perfect ears are just find something to love about somebody or find something mm -hmm. that's beautiful. So, so real quick. Uh -huh. <clears throat> I love your skin. I love your eyes. I think your eyes are beautiful. I love your ears. I love your lips. I love your chin. I like your, your broad shoulders. That's that. That's that. Yeah, you're good looking. Yeah. And I'm not afraid to give compliments. So. <laughs> oh, he's a fine species. <laughs> he's a fine species. So. <laughs> you think I play it? Okay. Yeah. All right, so um, what what I okay, so I first I need to admit something, mm -hmm. and like this is this is let's say, what are rep repentance? Yeah, repent. or penitence? Repento. So okay, so I am not going to sit here and pretend like when I was in high school, I wasn't one of the people who laughed. Ah, I knew that one. And and and. Okay, I feel I don't want to, I don't want to swear off not having teased anybody because I feel like somebody going to say, yeah, they yeah, did and pull up the wrist. Yeah, yeah. You remember when? So, so I don't want to say that, but I, I definitely laughed because if you if you know Booth from high school, you might laugh off there. The business wish walks are where they come from. You laugh off there. So what I what I'm what I'm gonna ask you to do now is. What would you say to, 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 to both the people on both ends? What would you say? Be the aunt, be your aunt for Someone. somebody going through it and also be a guidance counselor for somebody causing that person oh. to go through it. Ah, my dear. These stupid boys are making fun of you. Ha! Remember, years from now when you're making money, they'll be selling bag juice and begging. Okay? Can you support me? Oh, I remember you from high school. They'll be begging. And even if they're not begging, they'll be coming to you for opportunities. The same people that make fun of me, oh. <laughs> I am the person that had to ensure that they got paid for something. I am the one that they came to to ask for a thousand dollars. I'm telling you, oh. I'm the one, the one that they laughed at, the one that they spoke low about, the lowest of the apostles. And that person had to come to me for a recommendation and two for help. So to the persons who are making fun of these persons, I'm saying to you, put yourself in the person's position. How would you feel if somebody find something that was not so desirable or was not so lovely about you not saying that being fat is not lovely because some people they are into that mm -hmm. and sometimes it's like the person like you because many came to me after and say oh he's like me like him i said like who ah take it back i don't want you to like me but if you like the person find a different way and for the persons who see the bullying happening don't laugh even if it is funny don't laugh because what you're doing, you're aiding and abetting that cruelty. And we're living in a day and age now where people are very suicidal and depressed. Mm. So think about it. If someone was to take your issues or the things that you're most insecure about and just throw it in your face, how would you feel? And some of the persons who tease people, they're broken on the money and you're not have far for go. Suppose someone would tell you that and dig you deeper into poverty, or even to just make fun of your face, your eye, 
whatever it is, you can't read so good, you're not so good looking, you're black. Suppose somebody should use that against you. It doesn't feel good. And it's the same way it doesn't feel good for the other person. Remember, I know, you can't lose weight. <coughs> but you, the condition of your heart is so dark and dirty. You can't clean up. Be careful. You can if you want to. But <laughs> this is my few cents. <laughs> Great plug. And right now, I don't even. Um, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I think that right there is the near perfect way to end today's episode. I thank you for coming. I thank, thank you, you for sharing. It was lovely. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, you know the deal. Like, share, and subscribe. I will leave all her socials and all her projects and everything in the description. So you can go check her out, give her a follow, sponsor the project. Who knows what it is? But just give, give your support. So thank you for viewing. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And I will see you next Wednesday. I've been your host, Kemani. This has been our guest, Samantha, a.k.a. Precious. And this has been Few Few Cents. Few Few Cents. See you guys next week.